Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the very merciful. And I was just reading some words of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, from Sahih al Muslim, in which I guess it's addressing the matter of you know taking loans and borrowing money. For example, in one narration, عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نفس المؤمن معلقة بدينه حتى يقضى عنه that the soul of the believer is tied to the loan that they have borrowed until the loan is paid off now in Mirqatul Mafatih, it is written that what it means is a person cannot reach their goal of Jannah or they cannot reach an elevated state of religiosity until they pay off their loan. In the next hadith, we see Anil Bara ibn Adibin, Qala Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sahibu Daini Ma'surun Bidainihi. يَشْكُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ الْوَحْدَةَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ You'll see the worst punishment that a person is given in prison nowadays is solitary confinement, that they're left alone in prison. So the meaning that I'm taking here is also from Mirqatul Mafatih, which means that on the Day of Judgment, those that have not paid off their loans, those people who borrowed money but didn't return it on the Day of Judgment, they will have such a punishment that they will be on their own and there will be no one to help them. May Allah Almighty protect us all. What I want to address today is that we live in a loan culture. Almost all of us owe money to someone and a lot of times it's because of the culture that we're in and it's a necessity but to the, the Islamic mindset asks us to avoid taking a loan as much as possible you know the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the next hadith of Muslim he would not pay he would not pray the Janazah prayer over someone if they still owed money. So let's try to avoid being a part of this culture. May Allah protect me, may Allah protect you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.